Jeffrey Pfeffer, Leadership BS, Fixing Workplaces and Careers One Truth at a Time. Let's dive into the world of leadership and debunk some myths. In Leadership BS, Fixing Workplaces and Careers One Truth at a Time, Jeffrey Pfeffer unveils the illusory strategies that many leadership gurus gloss over. From the misconceptions around the importance of self-promotion, authenticity to trustworthiness, Pfeffer discusses the paradoxes that business leaders often face. The book summary also elaborates on various themes like strategies for survival in the corporate world and understanding that great leaders can also be flawed. Join us as we uncover the reality of today's business leadership landscape and learn what it truly takes to prosper in the competitive world of work. The Myth of Heroic Business Leaders Business leaders are often portrayed as heroes by business gurus, who craft appealing images and legacies of the individuals they glorify. However, these depictions usually lack realism and fail to present a complete picture. For instance, the story of Jack Welch, former CEO of General Electric, tends to omit his leadership style as well as issues of pollution, price-fixing, and fraud that occurred during his reign. By creating nothing but flawless biographies of leaders, we make it seem impossible to follow in their footsteps, resulting in the persistence of problems and the business gurus remaining in business. To inspire and bring about change, it is essential to recognize that our heroes have flaws and imperfections. Acknowledging these traits makes them more relatable and human, emphasizing that great accomplishments can indeed be attained by imperfect human beings. The Power of Self-Promotion Donald Trump's success in business leadership stems from his effective self-promotion. Self-promotion is a way to highlight positive qualities, which can get you hired and move you up the corporate ladder. Research shows that interviewers rate job applicants higher when they show self-promotion skills, as it reflects self-confidence that rubs off on others. Additionally, confidence and overconfidence, including narcissistic tendencies, lead to higher social status and influence within groups. These characteristics benefit CEOs, especially narcissistic ones, who have a stronger desire for risk-taking in action. A study during the 2007 financial crisis shows that while companies led by narcissistic CEOs suffered initially, their personality led to increased chances of survival. Fearless dominance, a mixture of narcissism, glibness, and guiltlessness, benefits U.S. presidents in terms of overall persuasiveness and the ability to manage crises. Leaders should act. Leadership is not just about being authentic, it's also about putting on a show and displaying different versions of oneself. According to Helen Rubin, leaders gain success by rehearsing the desirable quality until it comes naturally, it may not look authentic, but it is effective. Successful leaders teach themselves to act confidently, even when feeling unsure. It can be psychologically demanding and stressful to display positive emotions irrespective of one's feelings, but it is necessary for good business. Companies expect CEOs to appear strong and smart in their interactions, and entrepreneurs must become confident and trustworthy leaders to attract talented employees, customers, and investors. The Power of Lies Lying is often associated with negative connotations, but in the business world, it can be an essential tool for those in power. Studies have shown that people in positions of power lie more frequently and easily because they are less likely to face the consequences of dishonesty. Leaders like Steve Jobs are known for manipulating reality to achieve their goals, and companies use deceitful tactics to establish friendly relationships with their employees. Using lies can help leaders smooth over difficult situations and take advantage of people's natural predisposition for wishful thinking. Therefore, as Mark Twain once said, truth is a precious commodity that should be used sparingly. Trust in leadership. Being trustworthy is considered an important aspect of leadership, but research shows that many employees do not trust their leaders. Even with a lack of trust, organizations can still perform well. CEOs often need to change their minds and plans to react to changing circumstances, and it's common for companies to break alliances and form new partnerships. 
However, when individuals breach contracts, it's viewed as negative, but when organizations do it, it's deemed a regular part of doing business. Military versus Business Leadership Leaders prioritize their own benefit over their employees. The power that comes with leadership is often used to protect one's job, leaving vulnerable positions at risk. The expectation that leaders care for their employees is naive. Instead, they may use employees as scapegoats for their mistakes. This is exemplified in General Motors blaming their financial troubles on union worker benefits, rather than acknowledging consumer preference for their competitors. Protecting your own neck. Businesses may prioritize prosperity over employees, and a sense of reciprocity in the workplace is often absent. Employees should not rely on loyalty to companies that don't care for them. Reciprocity means very little in the business world, where forward-thinking, business transactions are the norm. Protecting your own neck is essential to ensure job satisfaction and security. The Art of Play Acting in Leadership The use of play acting in sports has become a strategic move to gain a free kick or free throw. Similarly, the best leaders have learned to use play acting to their advantage. IDEO has successfully promoted design thinking by encouraging employees to watch how others solve problems instead of just listening to them. This principle has found its way into leadership training, where socializing and dealing with people outside the office are recognized as essential skills for a successful leader. The book, The Prince, by Machiavelli, remains relevant, depicting the use of immoral actions to protect the greater good. Steve Jobs was labeled a bully, but without his aggressive tactics, Apple may not have achieved its success. Thus, while the leadership industry may claim to adhere to moral virtues, observing their actions may reveal the immoral truth. In conclusion, Leadership BS tells us that the truth about successful business leadership goes beyond what we often hear from leadership gurus. It's not just about embodying ideal virtues or being the perfect role model, leaders can be flawed and narcissistic as well. Actions, rather than words, reflect where a leader's true priorities lie. By understanding the true nature of leaders and the immoral strategies they might employ, we gain a realistic comprehension of the corporate landscape and how to effectively navigate it. In a world where perception matters, courageous and revolutionary leaders must stay true to their path, even if it means debunking long-held myths surrounding the art of leadership.